I wanted to make this video as soon as the situation happened around like three and a half months ago, but I just didn't have the time or I don't know, I guess willpower to just make the video at the time. So I'm going to now on this dead channel. So about Soda, I haven't posted on here for over like two years, mainly because this used to be the channel where I uploaded secondhand content and mainly GD stuff. Um, I generally drifted away from John Shesh entirely, and I just generally don't have an interest in it which explains the channel inactivity. I will eventually plan on posting more, mainly being shorts content or just me talking. But if that doesn't happen, just consider this channel scrapped entirely. But yeah, um, I wanted to talk today about, you know, on April 1st of 2023, the 1.6 GDPS was forever changed. Forever changing, meaning that the entire server was deleted both in-game and the Discord server. Now, this is huge. Now, this is huge because the Discord server had two and a half years of like history and it was just deleted, but just like that. And also the in-game server as well, even though in the past it was hacked, there were still players that, you know, the second lifespan of the 1.6 GDPS after the whole CAD GDPS hack scandal was still pretty good, you know? Like, players grinded to get number one, like, creator points, etc. So, like, yeah, it was it was sad at the time seeing, but, um, you know, I kind of felt obligated to talk about this considering my influence in the 1.6 GDPS community. Um, when it came to private servers, I was in 1.9 for a while. That's what a lot of the content I posted, and also 1.6. Um... 1.9, I was mainly more of a content creator, shorter guy, uh, creator, player, etc. While with 1.6, it felt a lot more personal to me because I was there in more of the earlier days, not extremely, extremely early in the lifespan, like the time frame, but um, I would definitely consider myself one of the more uh, OGs, you know, back when it was like 10 to 15 active members, I can just recognize Immediately, some people on top of my head being like Sneko, uh, Blade, H, KKG, Jolly. I'm sure there are more Flux. I'm sure there were more. I, my memory is just like a little bit blurry about it. Um, shout outs to Star Sign for introducing me to 1.6. I remember on Crashy, I checked his uh, thing and I saw 1.6 and it looked interesting because. Um, I was in private service back then, and I just wanted to get my footing on other communities. Unlike the boys one, this actually had, like, stuff already kind of pre-made, and it looked, you know, it looked interesting. So, yeah, after I joined, um, I noticed that the I wanted to grind on the leaderboards, and it was just fun, you know? It was just really fun. I think I got top one back then. It was just me and H rivaling and just, like, waiting for... I remember the um what was really interesting about the um the rating system and qualification system in 1.6 was that it would use like it would like it would be like sent by like moderator and then like people would like put whatever star they thought to like kind of like think what they thought as a rating which I think is really cool. I don't know how fast it was for rating stuff as a star grinder back then because like, I remember especially at a time I would just be waiting for it to qualify. Like I'd play, I'd be in every rated level up then and I would just wait for it to qualify to levels. But it was still, I think it was a really cool system that they had in mind. But anyways, um, so yeah, me and H were just constantly fighting for number one with like the stars and stuff like that. There's also other people, you know, that's how like, for example, uh, eventually the image of Skull Gang was made where it was just uh, kind of reminded me of Castle Crashers where you'd have all the primary colors and uh, the jumper icon. It's sick. It goes hard. Um, yeah. Um, then I remember um, I was also, you know, in the 1.9, I was really into the uh, demons list. Um, 1.6 also had a demons list, but it was pretty inactive. It was like a word document. So um, me and Flux at the time, I think Flux made the thing like she, uh, she made the uh, the the, the the website for it and then she gave me the perms to just mess around with whatever which was really a fun learning experience on my end because um i got to just pretty much just mess around come up with 
uh, other concepts you wouldn't see in typical lists. For example, like um, there were these badges for if you're a creator, you beat a lot of levels. Um, there was like uh, legacy badges and stuff like that. Like it was, it was cool. I thought it was a, it was definitely more of a mixture of like a demon's list plus like Osu slash. It kind of reminded me of Eterna a little bit. Yeah, good times. And uh, the site was such a pain to maintain, I remember, because everything was manual, but it was still, it was really fun. I remember that. Um, I wrote down here that there was also events. Oh, a little bit. Yeah, there was events. Um, there, I wasn't really too involved with the events. Um, what's it called? On the server, but... Uh, yeah, there were different creator, creator events that were cool. I won uh, Jolly's CC back then, and Met Elemental is still mad about that to this day. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know how I won, to be honest. I mean, I like the level, but still, I'm, I'm, I'm not a good creator. That's the thing. Um, I remember eventually I became staff on the server, too. Uh, I was obviously a list owner at the time, but I was also staff. I wasn't staff for too long because I was uh, definitely, um, I mean, I still go through like kind of like uh, mood swings and stuff, but I think back then where I didn't know where I really wanted to go in life, I was uh, definitely very mood swingy. And uh, I think at one point I just kind of crashed once where I was just like, yeah, I can't do this anymore. Yeah, it was a bit of burnout, mood swings and just a bunch of other stuff. But, you know, I left... And it was, you know, I don't know if this was dur directly tor during the correlation of the uh, the uh, server hacking and the, like the data loss, because I remember um, all the stuff was like reset. Uh, I remember there's still an active community by the time I left. Um, so I wrote that there was there was definitely a decline with 1.6. I feel like where uh, server side. Like the Discord, it was sure it was active, but it was the same people. It was not really much growth. And um, the YouTube channel was pretty much kind of inactive. The server health was kind of inactive. I'm saying kind of, it still was, but you know, you could kind of tell from like that golden age where it's just like, yeah, they were kind of dying. But anyways, um, yeah. Um, I mentioned before of Skull Gang. Um, it's it, we've been working on this for like over a year, but I guess I could say it now. We have been working on a level. Um, recently, H finally finished his part. Thanks for him to, for sticking it out because I know he was, uh, he, he was busy IRL stuff. But um, yeah, he eventually finished his part and gave it to me. I have to decorate my part still. I'm I haven't even started yet, but you have to jet before the summer ends. And yeah, um, it's uh, it's it's. Yeah, it's just crazy to me how much time has passed, and I don't, I definitely have a soft spot for early 1.6. Early 1.6 was just shit, and you can't tell me otherwise. I remember just so many, like, crazy minor, like, events that happened that I don't think I can really cover in this video. I'll say one where I think it was, like, was it Flux or someone who said, like, I don't remember. I, 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 there was a time where I think I could have became owner of 1.6 or if I asked or it was either Flux or someone or I don't remember. I could be talking out of my butt, but um, I think there was a time that it could have actually been possible. But I think at the time I was also getting into other games. It might have been Pump It Up at the time. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, um, it, we are where it stands where um, the original 1.6 gdps whether it be the first original server that flux owned a uh, database or the, the celery one and then the discord is being gone where now there's a one brand new 1.6 gdps discord where it's like it has nothing of the original it's just it's just 1.9 but 1.6 that's like there like a lot of the like the 1.6 staff was like it was called on the new server or 1.9 because so is staff on 1.9 so it makes sense that some of the it would correlate but ultimately for me it just shows like it's just 1.6 had such charm and I identity it's just lost now with like the whole server branding and like like stuff like 
you know, it's, it's, it's it could be 1.6 boomer talk, but I just, it just feels like all of its charm and personality is lost. Um, and apparently they don't even have a re-upload tool and that's what the original one had. So e even if they want to make a brand new 1.6, this is like a downgrade. Yeah. The fall of 1.6, it really is tragic. Um, with, I think it was like, I don't want to, I don't want to point out fingers. It was, I think it, it was Wayne apparently. Um, he was obviously the owner at the time or developer of the 1.6 server. And apparently it costed him a, a decent amount per month as he's just, you know, like, say like high school or going to college and that would probably be stressful to maintain that. Um, and that's fine. I mean, that's fine to close down a server because I understand if you're not like getting donos or like it was expensive for like, servers or management, like, go right ahead. I just wish like an FYI was given ahead of time and like you, you, the server deletion was kind of uncalled for you know, mental breakdown sort of thing, or something must have happened that caused all those things on April Fool's. When H told me that, I thought he was joking, but apparently he wasn't. I didn't know how to, what to even think about it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it is pretty tragic. I remember Cell t told, we were planning on making a 1.6 sort of history slash iceberg video, but at the time, she didn't really have any motivation for it, and I kept just pushing her, but it seemed like it didn't really get anywhere. Maybe eventually one day I will make that video of the history thing, but it just seems like as time passes, my memories fade away about it. Um, the only other person I would really know who knows 1.6 history is Elemental, and, you know, he's 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 chill. He's just making COD content now. Also, that guy's Boston. Uh, yeah, but he didn't really seem to have any interest for like 1.6 and stuff like that, so I don't really want to ask him. About being, if he knows anything about it. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, yeah. And I guess I wrote down here as the last, like, uh, server memories was that there was a team house party. That was awesome. We made HTTP. Uh, house house team protocol, was it, or something like that? Yeah. Or was it the level? The, no, the level, no, the team name was the house, and the level was uh, house, type, house team protocol. Yeah, I remember that. Um, oh, don't forget Raffle. Yo, my man, Raffle is awesome, man. You know, I gotta get in a call with him in Element sometime. There was, oh yeah, there was Phallix, and then we played Terraria. There was the freaking private server with the beds. Uh, Winner was always fun to talk, talk around in PFP <laughs> collapse <laughs> and other shenanigans like that. For any 1.6 uh, GDPS people out there um in the comments leave down what was your favorite past like what was your favorite memory about 1.6 i'd love to hear it i think i pretty much got all of the uh the main or my main points i want to talk about were four years gone in just one day i don't know if it's actually four years but that's for what i wrote in my notepad so i'm just gonna name the title as that let me know what you guys think about these commentary type or just, I don't even know what I want to do with this channel, frankly. I just want to talk and whether that be boring or what to kill it. Um, that's the only thing I really see for this channel as an update. Cool stuff's going to be where I post mainly my personal archives slash gaming content now before I go to university. Um, I'm pretty sure that channel is like horrible in the algorithm. I don't know what the heck happened. I'm pretty sure it's like slightly shadow banned off YouTube or just like it's terrible for the algorithm. But yeah, that channel is, I don't really care about the like it growing anymore. I kind of gave up on that, I think. So I, this channel is just going to be more personal slash shorts eventually. And just me just talking about like past things. And you probably know me are always my main audience now knows me as the uh, pump it up youtuber uh, over at pundy where um i've been making a lot of pump it up content for the west and just general international community which has been working out very well uh it's it's been where my main focus when it comes to like socializing or gaming has been in the last like two years which kind of explains the correlation with this channel becoming inactive and that one taking its place soon after so yeah